I do believe that playing games does help a lot that, uh, because uh, you keep your mind very fresh. So that is something required for uh, a life of a software engineer. My name is Walter. I'm the co-founder for Gain Secure, Syndrome Berhad. I got my degree from RPIT, major in um, information technology. I have been in the software industry for 19 years. So I started work as an application developer in one of the Malaysia companies since 2001. I also been awarded by Microsoft as the Microsoft MVP for 12 years in a row. Today, I am actually uh, as the entrepreneur uh, on the software development industry. We are using technology to solve a lot of uh, human problems. Gain Secure Syndrome Berhad is actually a software house. So our primary goal is to uh, use software as the main tools to actually solve the problems. So today we have a lot of clients, um, including 7-Elevens, giant supermarkets, uh, some of the telco industry. Golden Screen Cinema is one of our customers. Uh, we also do some project with the AirAsia's. So Gain Secure also create a product uh, known as the QNFX. So this product is actually a uh, mobile applications that we build for conference attendees. And today, uh, a lot of conferences in Malaysia are using our softwares to reduce the papers and to have a better experience to the delegates. Let's talk about uh, drones, the robots, the IOTs. The interesting part today is the fundamental is to require software engineering skill sets. Even if you want to involve in the artificial intelligence, you still need to have a software engineering skill sets. I do believe that if you want to become a software engineering skills, you need to have few uh, fundamental uh, skill sets, such as problem solving, logical thinking, as well as the next one I advise to everyone is try to be humble. When you're humble, you will be able to learn a lot more. Drones, today you can do the programming uh, if you want to, uh, including the Lego Mindstorms, right, which is a toys for the kids. I think something that the parents can start from there if they are interested to move their kids into this industry. So you can also uh, get your kids a game called the Minecraft. You can also learn a fundamental of programming from the Minecraft itself. I told a lot of my friends, uh, including their kids, that it's very hard to find a job that you like. At the same time, it pays off. I think for you to pick up programming uh, is easy with today. The tools are available for you. The resources of learning are available for you. Personally, I have no regret coming into the, this industries. I do believe that demand are really there, especially in Malaysia. We have been known for a very good country that provides software development services. Like uh, about a year ago, I gave a talk in, uh, in the APIT. I would say 90% of the people in the classroom, they want to become software engineers, which is a big shift from what I know uh, back then. Uh, in Malaysia, in terms of salary skill, I do believe that it's higher than a lot of traditional jobs, such as the accountants, the admin, the business development. Services. So if you're going to study in this industry, what I will tell you is to uh, work harder in the first five to 10 years of your careers, because that's the time where you will learn. Once you're able to get the experience, you are going to further your careers above the software engineer's line. Basically, you're moving towards the software architect or the system admin. From that perspective, uh, you basically need to have the experience of software engineers before you can become a software architect. I do believe that there's a lot of good talent in Malaysia. We just have to know how to unleash their potential and bring them to the next stage. And I do believe that MDAC actually is a good platform to bring the people on. I personally hope that uh, in the tech industry, there should be uh, more innovations from what we have um, today. And I also realized that there is a lot of idea kept in the idealization stage. It never got executed. If someone who have the passion to solve people problems, I'll recommend to come into this industry.